I just created this beautiful voting machine and there is no coding or complex or good connections needed to do it. So let's get started. So the first thing you just want to make a cardboard piece or even you can do with a similar product like street or something like that. Then you need a couple of red color LED bulbs, then some connecting wires. I just used aluminum foil sheet for connections or either you can make a PCB with the circuit. Then you need a couple of SPSC switches. Those are tiny tick tick switches. Then a piece of electric buzzer and a battery with a suitable power for the buzzer as well LED bulbs. So this is our circuit. I just want to tell you, you are free to make this circuit with a copper board or bread board or just connect with wires. I just use some aluminum foil but I don't recommend that because sometimes some connections will be cut off due to poor connection. I just made a voting machine outlook in Photoshop so you're free to download and use for your creation. So first, take out a piece of cardboard and cut in a suitable A4 size or cut for the actual size of your printout. Then the next thing you need to do is just place the printout on top of the circuit board and press and hold on the corresponding switch buttons with the bottom of a pen or pencil. This will make a mark on the cardboard and we can easily keep up the SPST switches in the same position. Then mark with a pencil and drill the cardboard with a suitable size for keeping the tiny switches and keep all the switches into the hole. Then paste super glue on the sides of the switches. This will make them extra rigid so it won't easily pull back. Then the next thing is simply paste the printout on the cardboard. Then next insert all the LEDs into the red color ellipse shown in the printer layout and try to keep all the LEDs in the same pole. Then the next section is all about wire connection. I just used some aluminum foil but it's not recommended. So you can go with proper copper wire connection. So this is our circuit and do it in the same way. This step is really really important in making this voting machine. I'm just pasting the aluminum foil on the machine as a connector on both sides to connect the LED bulbs as well the switches. And also I use tabular pins to make connection with the aluminum foil and the switch that I found the easiest way. And also I solder that to make it rigid. And the next step you can connect a switch as well to turn on the power. And also the next is you can connect the piezoelectric buzzer as I shown in the circuit. It's so easy when you take a look at the circuit and do.
So this is the final connection of our voting machine circuit. So you can customize and you can do with your priorities. Then we can just cover the voting machine and let's try it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you wish you can subscribe and see you next time, bye!